Welcome to episode 16 of The Graham Cochran Show, where I'm here to help you build your online business, work less, and live, and give more to the things, people, and causes you care about. My name's Graham Cochran. I'm your host. We're going to talk about your business today. In fact, if you're not even sure how to start a business or what to start a business on, I'm going to help you figure that out today. And if you already have a business going, I'm going to show you a really powerful concept that'll help you skyrocket your business or always lead to new business opportunities. But before we jump into uh, this week's episode, I want to let you know about something really, really cool I am doing over at GrahamCochran.com this week only. I'm starting a brand new workshop, a free training, a three-part series called my Six Figures and Beyond Workshop. In talking to many of you, uh, especially those of you that already have a business going, that are already making some revenue, it might be $1,000 a month on the side, which is great. Or it might even be fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, which is phenomenal. That was like my original dream goal back in the day. But you're thinking, I'm stuck. How do I get to that $100,000 a year or more mark? because there's something about that amount of money that might be very helpful to you for whether it's paying off debt, whether it's investing and getting ahead, whether it's your spouse being able to stay home and watch your kids, which is really important to me. When I got started, I wanted to make enough money so my wife could be free to stay home if she wanted to. So whatever the reason, I hear many of you saying, Graham, how do I get six figures? How do I break into that area. Or if you're already at six figures, how do you go beyond where you are at six figures? How do you do multiple six figures or eventually get to seven figures? So I've been hearing this from many of you. And so what I've done is put together an entire three-part workshop on the subject. It's packed with actionable stuff, content, strategies, frameworks, literally stuff you can copy and paste in your business that's really going to help you. And it's free, but it's only for a limited time. And so I'm letting you know, because it's going to begin, part one is going to go on the air. Is that even a thing? It's going to go live on this Thursday, August 8th. Okay. Thursday, August 8th. And you can access this free training at grahamcochran.com slash six figures, all spelled out. S-I-X- figures. So grahamcochran.com slash six figures. The first part uh, goes live on this Thursday, August 8th. And when you're there, you'll be able to see when the other um, parts unlock. So it's a three-part series. I don't want you to miss it because if you miss it, it's going to be gone. It's not going to be up forever. It's a limited time training that I am inviting you to. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's free. You might as well come. There's going to be some really, really helpful content to you. If you are brand new, if you're trying to cross over six figures for the first time, or if you're already at six figures and you're like, Graham, how do I get to multiple six figures? This free workshop will help you. Again, it's my Six Figures and Beyond workshop, limited time, and it goes live Thursday, August 8th for part one. It's going to run for about a week, so you don't want to miss it, and you can get all of the details at grahamcochran.com slash six figures, all spelled out. Okay, let's jump into today's episode. Let's talk about overwhelm. The title of this week's episode is that where there is overwhelm, there is opportunity. And I was literally on a podcast with some friends of mine just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and we were talking about how to scale up a service-based business. And one of the things I mentioned to them on the show was this concept that where there is overwhelm, there is opportunity. And we had a really good discussion and it made me think that this is something that we should talk about uh, and give an entire episode to because I think this is probably the, the opportunity, the biggest opportunity that you and I have today because overwhelm is the problem of our day. Uh, and I, when so many of my students, how do I put this? So many of my students, they come at this whole idea of going online, creating content, building a business. And they view it in the wrong way. They view it as, Graham, but you got in early, you know, back in 2009, whatever. You know, I'm getting in late or am I late to the game? Is there still room for me? And I feel like they're asking the wrong question or they're looking at the situation of today completely backwards. I think there is more opportunity today in 2019 than ever before to make money online. Why? Simply because there is more 
overwhelmed today than ever before. There's so much information, so much content, so much media vying for your attention. This podcast is just one of the many thousands that you will come across today. And we have a limited attention span. We have limited cognition, limited brain power, limited time. And so it's just overwhelming. We cannot consume it all. And so the fear is that, well, Graham, it's all been done before. There's so much content out there. It misses the point completely. There is too much information, okay? Too much conflicting information. How about that? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and in general, our lives today in this modern world are just so much busier, I think, than they were ever before that we don't have the time to comb through all of that information and make sense of it all. And so it leads to overwhelm. This is why you've got, you know, I don't know how many workout programs, diets, weight loss trainings that are available, some paid, many free, and people who want to lose weight, who want to get in shape, want that result badly, have consumed a ton of these trainings and, and DVDs and, and diets and books and, and gone to all the meetings and they haven't gotten results. Is it because those diets don't work? Is it because those trainings didn't work? No, it's because they didn't put in the work. Why? Because they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed. Who do I believe? Do I go keto or do I go Atkins? Do I go plant-based? Do I, am I, am I carnivore diet? Like what am I supposed to do? They're all conflicting. Are plants good? Do plants kill me? What, what, what's going on here? Do I do CrossFit? Or is it all like body weight? You know, is, is it more cardio? Is it no cardio? It's, it's just overwhelming for the average person. And so when we get overwhelmed, we shut down. I'm painting a picture for you today because I, I want you, you, you know this, and, and I'm sure there is an area of interest to you personally that you want results in personally, but when you consume information, you get overwhelmed. YouTube. YouTube is wonderful. YouTube is also a black hole of despair because there is too much information out there. You can get lost scrolling and watching, and you're not sure which person to listen to or what's helpful. A lot of it isn't helpful. A lot of people just jibber jabber about stuff before they finally get to the important stuff. Although some people say that about me, so maybe I should keep my mouth shut, but uh, I like to think that my stuff is helpful and it's overwhelming. So in every niche, I don't care what the niche is, in every niche there is overwhelm, and that means smart people, I'm talking to you, smart people can create a business opportunity, and get this, this is so crazy, can create a business opportunity by simplifying the topic, by simplifying the topic of the niche and getting people results faster. You do not need to innovate and become some new expert that has some new groundbreaking diet or tool or strategy or technique. You do not need to be the best in your field. You do not even need a college degree or credentials behind your name for 99% of the niches. You do need to be able to simplify all of the nonsense and get people results faster. If you can do this, if you can distill the important stuff down into manageable, bite-sized, actionable steps, pieces of content, a framework, man, you become so invaluable to your audience. You, you start to stand out because everyone else is just content, information, content, information without any kind of... I know I'm the content guy, but if you pay attention, behind all my content is simplifying. Simplifying and trying to get you results faster. That's what I'm doing here with this podcast. That's what I'm doing here with the Graham Cochran brand. It, there's, I mean, how many people teach business? How much content is there? How much content have you consumed on business? I'm sure a lot of it's helpful. I'm sure a lot of it's overwhelming though. There are so many people giving you so many tactics and strategies and tips. I'm jumping into this space to simplify, to get you results faster. 
Does that make sense? Here's the other great thing about this. I'm going to give you a couple examples, and I'm going to give you a framework at the end of this that you can begin to use immediately to help do this, whether you're brand new or already have a successful business. But think about this. One of the things that holds up many of my students is this classic misnomer, this classic lie, this classic internal script that we tell ourselves, which is, but Graham, I'm not an expert. When they say, I'm not an expert, what they're really saying is, I don't feel confident enough, credentialed enough, smart enough to teach this stuff. Okay, maybe for free, but certainly not to charge people to teach this stuff. And what's really underneath that is basically the simplest statement that we all feel almost every day of our lives, which is, Graham, I just feel insecure. It's just insecurity. I get it. You want to know a secret? I'm insecure. I'm insecure teaching you this stuff. Did you know that it was probably back in 2015, so we're talking four years ago, that I wanted to start teaching people just like you how to do this? And I had friends and people and family say, you should totally do this. I said, yeah, I should do this. I should create a resource and teach people everything I know about business. And I didn't. I'll do it next year. 2016 rolls around. This is the year I'm going to start this thing. I'm going to, I'm going to create this resource. I'm going to start creating content and teach people everything I know about business. Didn't do it. 2017 rolls around and I finally got up the nerve to create some Facebook live videos. And I did that for six months, eight months. And it took me a lot of nerve to do that. I was insecure to even raise my hand virtually and say, hey, I'm now going to help people with their businesses. I had a lot of insecurity, not only because of I was more known for the music side of things and what I teach over at Recording Revolution, but really beneath that was just insecurity of the, am I smart enough? Am I good enough? Do I know enough to teach this stuff and charge? And there's something that just came to my mind that I wanted to share with you. Somebody just DM'd me literally today or yesterday. Um, because my fear was this, that I don't have anything new to teach these people. I mean, there's so many great people have taught all this stuff before. What, what do I have to bring to the table? I was missing my own point that I knew in my other business, which I'll share in a minute. But the point was, is that I don't need to be an expert. I don't need to bring something new to the table in terms of a new tactic. I just need to help simplify things for you and get you results. Got this DM yesterday, really digging your content. And I'm glad, quote, you're not just another guru who only talks about secret tactics and other BS. There are no secret tactics. I could, I could come up with one and give it a fancy name and, and teach it to you, but it would be BS. To me, business, as complex as it can be, at its core is very simple. And I'm on a mission to help you get a business up and running or grow your business to the financial level you want it to be at and reduce your work hours, which I think is another currency because time is a even more valuable currency than money. I want you to have enough time and money because then together you can truly live a life that's worth living. Too much time and no money is rough. Too much money and no time is rough. So a good balance of both. I'm on a personal mission to help you do that, not by giving you secret new tactics, but by simplifying and cutting through the overwhelm and helping you out. So do you see how this can apply to you? You do not need to be an expert. You just need to be able to simplify this overwhelming world that your topic is in and get people results faster. I think someone who does this better than anybody is Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is a talk show radio host, but he's a money guy. He's a personal finance guru, money coach. Okay, So he's got a show called The Dave Ramsey Show, and he's been on the radio. Um for 25, 26 years. He's got best-selling books. He's got 
you know, courses you can buy. He's got live events. But his core thing is a free three-hour-a-day radio show where all he does is answer callers' questions about their money, and he helps them out. Money, handling it, paying off debt, saving, investing, budgeting, loans, interest rates, stock market, all of that is really overwhelming in general to people. Long before the internet with overwhelming information, it was overwhelming to people in general because by nature, we're just not very disciplined people and we're not very disciplined with our money, most of us by nature. But even more so now, there's so much information out there about money. Everyone, whether it's guys screaming at you on CNBC, yelling at you, literally telling you what to do with your money, to articles in Kiplinger's or Money Magazine, or just your random uncle that gave you some stock tip or told you what real estate to buy when you don't even know if this guy has any money to begin with. There's so much conflicting information out there in the world on personal finance and what you should do with your money. And Dave Ramsey is probably the most successful money guy out there. There's plenty of other successful financial authors. I've got I've got all their books. I've read them all. I love personal finance. I dork out at this. And I've already got some content cooked up for you on handling your money, especially as a business owner in some upcoming episodes. So stay tuned for that. But, but Dave Ramsey's secret sauce is not that he's got anything new to share. There's no new secret money formula, stock tip, whatever. He's not into Bitcoin. It's, it's, there's nothing new. His, his advice is so old. I mean, it's advice that literally my grandfather gave me. He grew up in the Depression. Like, we're talking 70, 80, 90 years old. But really, it's older than that because a lot of Dave Ramsey's advice comes from the Bible. And it comes from a lot of it from the Old Testament written by like King Solomon. So we're talking three, four, five thousand 5,000 years ago. Right? Old. I'm talking old school. Even Solomon himself says there's nothing new under the sun. Dave Ramsey's got nothing new for you. Nothing new. What has he got? Why is he so successful? Why does he have millions and millions of listeners and sells out live events and sells out books and and has grown a massive company? I think it's one of the the top companies to work for in Nashville. I mean, he's just blowing up. Why? Well, partly he's a very charismatic personality and there's something to that, to be sure, which we'll talk about in other episodes as well. But his secret sauce is he simplifies it. He simplifies it. He's taken the complex topic of money and broken it down into literally seven, he calls them baby steps, the seven baby steps. If you've ever watched uh, the movie, what's the movie? Um, darn, darn it. I'm thinking of, um, he's got the total fear of everything. Uh, Bob, what is it? Something about Bob. There's something about Bob. I think it's the name of the movie. There's something about Bob. You tell me that maybe that's, there's something about Mary. I'm confused. What about Bob? Yes. What about Bob? Or maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. And uh, I'm going to Google it right now. So Bill Murray is, is like this total, yeah, what about Bob? Freak, uh, afraid of everything. He's afraid of everything. He, he won't leave his house. And his therapist is trying to help him like not be afraid of everything. And he's like, look, Bob, you're not going to be able to just go from being in complete fear to like living out in the real world, everyone else with all your fears, uh, you know, behind you in one fell swoop. You got to do it in little baby steps. And that was literally the language from What About Bob? And Dave Ramsey coined that term for his seven step process. He's taken personal finance and boiled it down basically to seven steps. He's like, hey, first do this. Save $1,000. That's a big step for a lot of people. Or it's an easy step for some people. Either way, it just is like, just do this one step. And don't worry about anything until you've done that one step. And then once you've done that step, you can look at baby step two. And you can work on that step. And however long that takes you, once you've completed that step, you move on to the next step. It, it takes the people that are stressed about money. And money is a very emotional topic. It takes a highly emotional, sensitive, intense, marriages hang in the balance type topic simplifies. It reduces the overwhelm. Dave Ramsey is like a balm for the overwhelmed, stressed out person. And the beautiful thing is, is that his methods get you results. 
to get you results. I mean, the, the dude is crushing it with testimonials. And what's funny is that he has critics, as everyone who has a big personality and has anything valuable to say. He has critics. And it's funny to me on the outside watching what some of his critics say, and they say that he's too simplistic. He offers overly simplified advice. Now, there is something to that, that ultimately you can't just follow some guru's advice blindly and assume that it's 100% perfect for you. Don't follow my advice blindly and assume that everything I say is 100% true for you because I'm not able to coach you directly one-on-one through this format. So I don't know the details, the inner workings of your business and life. And if I knew all of those, I might counsel you with some nuances that are different than I might counsel someone else, okay? I've got one-on-one clients that I coach, and I have general advice that is true for all people that I believe in because I've seen it work for me and other people, and I might give some of the same advice, but I will nuance some of it for one client versus another because I know his or her unique situation and needs. So there's got to be nuances. And so I think that's some of the complaint is that Dave Ramsey's got nothing new. People are following his advice blindly, but they're just jealous. They're jealous that he is so successful and popular and they don't know why. Here's why. Money is overwhelming and it's driving people crazy. And here comes a guy who for 25 years has just simplified the process. Simplified the process. You can do this too. You don't have to be the smartest. You don't have to have anything new to bring to the table other than can you simplify all of this nonsense? Some of it's good, some of it's bad. And can you give people clear instruction that makes them go, I'm glad you exist. You just made my life easier. Even if you haven't gotten them results yet, they get that sense of, oh, she's just laid out a step-by-step plan for me. She's shown me what's really important. I'm I'm just going to follow her advice because it's clear. And I can ignore all the noise and just focus on this. People like that. You can be that for other people. This is the story of my other business, The Recording Revolution. I started blogging in 2009 about how to set up a home recording studio if you're a musician. And you're like, look, I'm a musician. I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know the gear or the technology, but I have songs that I've written or haven't written, but I'd like to record some of them, whether for fun as a hobby, to just play for my friends and family, or I really want to make my record at home and I'm tired of paying someone at a studio by the hour. I want to do it at home and be creative. And I would like to learn a little bit more about this because it's confusing to me. They buy some equipment. The equipment looks confusing. The, the, The language and the lingo of audio equipment is confusing. You get on YouTube and like, There's so many videos with all these super smart people giving you technically correct advice, but it's so confusing. And I saw an opportunity to simplify it. And I saw that opportunity in real life with my real friends who were musicians. When I noticed they would come to me, they knew I was an audio guy. I audio engineer by trade and went to college for this. So they assumed I was an expert, was not the smartest guy in my class, was still undereducated when they were coming to me, but they knew I knew more than they did. They knew that I knew more than they did. And they would come to me and say, Graham, what should I even buy to begin with? I I go to musiciansfriend.com or sweetwater.com where you can buy audio equipment. I just see a a million microphones. I see uh, a million pieces of audio gear like compressors and EQs. I don't even know what a compressor is. What should I buy? And then... When I buy it or I have bought it, how do I hook it up? And okay, I've already hooked it up and I'm recording, but it it sounds like dog poo. I feel like I sound better in real life, but I record it, it's like, what? You know, and sometimes that's actually how they sound and I hate to break it to them, but they don't really sound good. But most of the time, it's, again, they haven't learned the art and skill of recording. And so they're just overwhelmed. And they would ask me these same questions and I realized, oh, they just need some simple advice. I, They're not asking for something earth-shattering to me. They're asking for simple, clear instruction on what to do first, second, and third. 
to get them results. And I was able to get them results. These are just my friends in real life. This is before I ever created content. And it dawned on me, I don't think I'm an expert, but I know a lot. I know a lot about this topic. And the average beginner not only knows less than me, but is overwhelmed. So if I can insert a little bit of knowledge and simplify the process for them, I can add immense value and become invaluable to them where they they need my advice. They crave my advice. They trust me. We know that there's this whole thing with business, which is how do you get people to spend money with you? You have to earn the three factors, the know, like, and trust factor. They're not going to spend money with you if they don't know you, right? That's why you got to create content to be known. If you don't put out anything in the world, no one's going to come find you. So they have to know about you. Okay, then they have to like you. If you can simplify things and speak to them clearly and directly, don't assume they know anything in the sense that you want to speak with patience and like with gentleness and with an understanding that they are not at a level that you are at and so you're trying to fill in the gaps for them. And if you get them results, they're going to like you and they're certainly going to trust you if time and time again, you take this complex world of fitness or finance or or whatever it is, in my case, recording music, and distill it down into simple, actionable tips, steps, frameworks. They will trust you. And then, of course, if they know you, like you, and trust you, it is much easier for them to whip out their credit card and buy from you when you have something to sell. So it is so amazing how I saw in my business it grow and grow and grow, not because I had anything new to share or because I had some groundbreaking technique to make you sound like Taylor Swift or Beyonce. No, it's because I simplified the unfortunately complex art of recording and mixing music. And I I broke it down for the average musician to be able to understand. So they go, oh, oh. When you get people those light bulb moments, those aha moments of, oh, I can do this. You are winning because you are empowering. Your content has to move from just information because, hey, that's a commodity. There is free information on your topic aplenty. You can't just be more information. You have to be transformation. So your content has to help transform them and empower them. If you can empower your students, your audience, by simplifying and getting them to see that they can do this, if your students are saying, ah, I can do this, that's powerful because now you don't have to convince them anymore. Now they're convincing themselves. They're going to go out and do it and get results. And that is how the recording revolution has grown immensely. I have critics, much like Dave Ramsey has critics who say that I am overly simplistic, that my content is for beginners and it's not advanced enough and I don't go deep enough and that I say the same thing over and over again. And you know what? They're right. But you know what? I have a bigger audience than them. I have a more loyal audience than them. I've been able to financially grow a more successful business than many of them. Why? Because the value is not in complexity. The value is not in more. The value is in simplifying, simplifying the process. Simplicity is key. And it takes another level of understanding your material and your topic to be able to Know it is one thing, spit it out is another thing, but curate it, reduce it, simplify it to its essence, and deliver it in a manageable bite-sized chunk for people that they can actually feel empowered and go take action on. That's a whole other skill that's really worth figuring out how to do and trying because then you win. Then people like you and they trust you. I can ignore my critics who, guess what, are probably smarter than I am, who, guess what, are probably better at their craft than I am. But that's okay. My goal is not to be the best. That shouldn't be your goal either. My goal is to help my students achieve as much as they possibly can. And I do that by simplifying and getting them results quicker. So where there's overwhelm and there's plenty, there's a huge opportunity for you. So let me give you a simple three-step process that you can follow 
to turn your audience's overwhelm into a profitable online business. If you're brand new or if you already have a business, to turn it into your next profitable business opportunity. Okay, very simple. Go figure. But check this out. This is what it comes down to, and this is something you could start today. Step one, it involves research. I know I hate to say that word. Okay, don't think of it as research. Get on social media or get on wherever you have any kind of audience at all. It could even be your email list if you already have one of those. Great, even better, because it's a curated, highly engaged audience. But get on social today and ask. Ask your audience relating to your niche, what is their biggest frustration right now in their niche? And part two or part B to that is what is the biggest win for them? What, what do they desire the most? What If I could help them with anything, what would it be? So if I'm a fitness person, again, I like to use fitness as an example because it's a transformational topic we all can understand. If I were a fitness instructor and I was trying to start an online business with fitness or grow my online business with fitness, I might get on social today. I might get on Instagram live or stories or just a post. I might post on Facebook. I might email my list or whatever and say, hey, right now, what's your biggest challenge, biggest frustration with losing weight and getting in shape? And follow up to that. What would be, what would be the win for you in the next six to 12 months? If I could help you with any one thing, what would be the dream for you in the next six to 12 months? Like a win, maybe not the ultimate win, but a win. And you might get some responses that might include things like, well, my biggest challenge right now is I don't have access to a gym. Or uh, it could be that I don't know what I'm supposed to eat. I'm actually working out a lot, but I'm not seeing results. And I think it's because of my diet, but I'm so overwhelmed because I've bought a lot of diet books and I did Whole30, but that's not sustainable. And then my friend's doing keto. And then, you know, I've done the Atkins thing. And then I don't know. I don't know if it's what I'm eating. And it's confusing to me and stressful. So I just eat, <laughs> which is what I do when I get stressed. I just eat. So maybe that's it. And then maybe they would say, you know, the biggest win for me in the next six months would be um, to lose 10 pounds um, to feel better, to or be able to run a mile and not be winded. Um, I don't know what it would be. You're going to get a lot of responses and there might be a variety of responses. This step involves real world interaction. Every good business opportunity, 99% of every good business opportunity starts with real world interaction with human beings to try to find out where are they overwhelmed? Where are they frustrated? And what do they want? What do they want? Okay. So do that and just start to pay, copy and paste into a Google Doc or spreadsheet or however you like to do it um, the responses. So you start to see all the frustrations and then all the big wins that they desire. And then look for any trends, if there's any overlap. If there's, if a lot of people say they're really frustrated about their diet, what to eat. And that's the confusing part for them. They understand working out and they all have different workout routines and they do their own thing, but it's the what do you eat that's the kitchen part that they're overwhelmed with. That might be a clue. And then you want to look at a, a whatever the wins are. You know, like if it's if you see like it's mostly weight loss that is really the biggest, most common win for people, you can sort of see what the average amount of weight loss would be if, if people gave you specifics. Is it really just five pounds, is it 10 pounds, whatever? Um, lose a pant size, I don't know. But look for the overlap in trends. Um, and that's where you begin. Step one, a little bit of research. You could do that in a day. Do it over a week, though, if you really want more results and more time to go back and forth with a few people. Okay. Step two, you're going to create a step-by-step -step guide for these people to get their desired result. Very, very simple. When I say guide, do not get overwhelmed. Do not write an ebook. Do not write a 30-page, 100-page book. Why? That's going to just overwhelm people. It's going to overwhelm them. Don't give them lots of more information. We've just been talking for the past half hour about how that's the problem. So give them something very short. For one, I want three to seven steps. Three to seven max. No more than seven steps. Three to seven. Three is fine. This is going to be a simple PDF. This might be two, four, six, 
10 pages max. Write it up in a Google Doc and you can save it as a PDF if you don't have how to do that. So it's just a Google Doc, right? But give them a three to seven step process to go from their frustration to their desired results. So for example, in this fitness example, if I have found that three or four out of the 10 people that got back to me, let's use small numbers, three to four out of the 10 people that got back to me said that it's really diet. It's just, they don't know what to eat. That's overwhelming them. And then all the other six or seven responses were all different. So this had the most common overlap was diet. And let's say that most people wanted to lose weight and the average was like 10 pounds or maybe the average was 20 or 30, I would reduce the amount to 10, something more manageable, and then create a guide called my four-step guide to eliminating overwhelm in the kitchen, knowing exactly what to eat to help you lose 10 pounds or more in the next 60 days or something. You see what we did there? We spoke to their immediate problem, frustration that they literally told you. You're giving them a a step-by-step guide and you tell them how many steps. People like this because you're now talking about clarity and simplicity. And what do those steps get you? A very specific promise, which is a certain weight loss goal, in this case, 10 pounds or more over a very specific time period. And you're the expert. You would know what's possible. And if you don't, if you can't promise a specific result because it's not measurable like fitness, then for example, in the recording revolution world, in that world, I have a six-step guide to creating a radio-ready song. Okay, that's a little vaguer in the sense that like you can't measure that, but radio-ready invokes exactly what I want it to invoke, which is going to be different for everybody, but professional enough that it could be played on the radio. So I'm giving you a six-step guide to take your song to professional standard uh, when you're frustrated and overwhelmed with your song not sounding very good. And so you c- it doesn't have to be a specific promise if it's not a measurable thing. Like I can't measure that. Uh, and I certainly can't promise that they will get on the radio because that's not what the guide does. It gives them steps to create a song that sounds good enough quality-wise, sonic-wise, right? So that's what you're doing is you're going to go and write three to seven steps, four, five, six, ten pages max, ebook. PDF, sorry, I didn't mean to say ebook. It sounds bigger than it needs to be. It's a PDF guide. Don't even say ebook. People will be like, I don't want to, I don't have time to read an ebook. Because they don't, statistically, people don't read books. So it's a simple guide, a short guide, short four, five step, six step guide to go from this to this. Step three, and this is it. You get back on social media once you've created that guide. Maybe take a week to write it, whatever. You could do it in a day if you're ambitious and you got time. And you share the guide for free using an email opt-in, okay? This is so important. Don't just share the link or share the, here it is, collect their email address in exchange for this. So if you haven't started a business, this is how you begin, okay? And I've, I've got videos on why, why email marketing is king and you need to grow an email list. But this, the general idea is use a free tool like MailChimp. I've got an entire video on how to use MailChimp uh, to grow your business, but part of it is is how to set up a simple free landing page inside of MailChimp or wherever you do it. If you're in Kajabi, this is even easier because they've got email built into Kajabi, landing pages built into Kajabi, where you can send them to a specific link that's free. And it says, hey, here's where you get your four-step guide to killing the overwhelm in the kitchen, knowing exactly what to eat to lose 10 pounds or more in the next 60 days for free. Just enter your email address and I'll send it to you. And that will capture their address add it to your list. So now you have a growing list of people you can eventually add more value to, offer coaching or sell products to in the future. And then they get an instant download of the guide. And you just throw it out there on social, no strings attached. Say, I've spoken to a lot of you and here's what I'm hearing you saying. You're saying you're frustrated with this and that makes sense. Diet is overwhelming and confusing. So much conflicting information. So you know what? As a fitness expert, as, you don't even have to call yourself an expert. As someone who's been in the fitness industry for a long time, I've tried all the diets. I've figured out what's worked for most people, not only me, but for most people, what's manageable. And I've boiled it down to a simple five-step guide that tells you what to eat, when to eat, how to do it, even if you're busy. And it'll actually help you reach your weight loss goals. And I just want you to download and read it for free. And then if you liked it, just email me back and let me know what you thought. 
or respond back to this post on social. Let me know what you thought. You're not selling anything. You may not even know what to sell, even if you could, or even if you have something to sell, you're not selling anything. You're capitalizing on the overwhelm in your niche. You're standing up and saying, I am your guide to help you simplify, get, cut through all the confusion and clutter and give you a path to a simple win. Because if you can get them a simple win, even if they don't get that result, but they find your information clear, helpful, it gives them peace and clarity and, and a path to move forward, they're going to feel like, oh, they're going to get that, that weight off their shoulders, that sense of relief that they have found someone who can help them go where they need to go. Even if they don't get the results today, they already feel better because they found someone. That means they can ignore everybody else or most everybody else. That's where the value is when you can become that kind of person to your audience in your niche. Does that make sense? You have the greatest opportunity to build a business if you capitalize on the overwhelm that we are in the middle of right now. And it's not getting any, any less overwhelming. It's getting worse by the minute. There's so much more content coming out, so many more channels for content coming out, so many more platforms, so many more people coming online. It's gonna get crazier and louder online. So this is the best time to stand up and kill the confusion for a select group of people. And you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to know anything new. You just have to be able to clarify and simplify the stuff that really matters to your audience. Give them step-by-step -step processes and frameworks and strategies to help them get results faster. They will love you for it. And then when you have something to sell to them, which will be an expanding of those step-by-step -step principles or in-depth coaching or a community or something where they can really get more results faster, they're going to buy it because they've already gotten results. They've gotten a taste from your free content that you are a voice of reason, a voice of clarity, a voice of simplicity in this sea of overwhelm for whatever the niche is. So there are your three steps. So much opportunity lies ahead of you. And before we wrap up today, I want you to do these three steps, but I want you to build on them. And I mentioned at the beginning of the show, I've got this amazing free training coming up this Thursday, August 8th. It's my Six Figures and Beyond workshop. And I'm going to go in depth on how to build or grow your business to six figures and beyond using some intentional, simple strategies, step-by-step -step frameworks that you can follow to get the desired result. And it's a simple three-part series. It's absolutely free, but it's only for this week coming up starting on Thursday, August 8th, and then it's going away. So I don't want you to miss it. It's only gonna be up for a few days and you can watch it whenever you want once each part goes live. The first one goes live this Thursday, August 8th. And if it's already passed, then you can go watch it. And to get access to this free workshop, go to grahamcochran.com slash six figures, all spelled out, S-I-X figures spelled out, grahamcochran.com slash six figures and take part in the workshop. I'll be there. Three very intentional pieces in this workshop that go together and build off one another. There'll be some really, really helpful content that's interactive that you can use there that's intended to help you either, if you've plateaued, ramp it up. You have so much more growth ahead of you. Or if you don't even know how to scale a business from a little side thing to full-time gig, especially not even $100,000 a year or more, this is gonna show you how it happens. I'm gonna give you a little hint. It's not about hustling harder. It's not about 10xing everything you do. There's a lot more nuance than that. I'm not the guy that's going to tell you to work more. If you listen to the tagline of my show, I'm here to help you work less. So it's not about working more hours or hustling. There's more to creating a six-figure and beyond income than that. In fact, there's a better way. It's not just hustling and something else. Forget the working hard and hustling. Be diligent and do good work when you work but work more strategically. And that's what I'm gonna share in this free three-part workshop. So come join me for that. Starts August 8th, this Thursday at grahamcochran.com slash six figures. Hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the amazing feedback I'm getting. Thanks for the DMs. Thanks for the reviews on iTunes blowing my mind. I'm just honored that you're even listening to this show. It means a ton. And uh, I can't wait to see you at the workshop and I'll see you in another episode real soon.